Welcome to our video on the U.S. military bases in the Philippines near the South China Sea. The United States has been building some of its largest military bases on the Philippine Islands, and this has raised questions about the reasons behind it, the impact it has had on the region, and the geopolitical implications of this strategic move. In this video, we'll be exploring these issues and discussing why the U.S. military presence is in the Philippines matters. The Philippines on Monday identified the locations of four new military bases the U.S. will gain access to, as part of an expanded defense agreement analysts say is aimed at combating China. The four bases include three on the main island of Luzon, close to Taiwan, and one in Palawan province in the South China Sea. The U.S. has stepped up efforts to expand its Indo-Pacific security options in recent months, amid mounting concerns over China's aggressive territorial posturing throughout the region. The new locations opened up under the 2014 Enhanced Defense Cooperation Arrangement EDCA, will allow the U.S. to rotate troops to a total of nine bases throughout the Philippines, including on the strategically important Palabac Island close to Chinese installations in the South China Sea. The Presidential Communications Office said in a statement that the four sites will be in Isabela and Cagayan, on the island of Luzon, facing north towards Taiwan, and on Palawan, near the disputed Spratly Islands in the South China Sea. The bases have been assessed by the Philippine military and deemed suitable and mutually beneficial, the statement said, noting that the camps would also be used for humanitarian and relief operations during disasters. The expansion comes as China becomes increasingly assertive in pressing its claim to the self-ruled island of Taiwan, as well as in the South China Sea, where it claims almost the entire waterway under its controversial nine-dash line. The Philippines, other Southeast Asian nations and Taiwan also have overlapping claims to the sea, which is a major global trade route. Cagayan Governor Manuel Mamba has publicly opposed having EDCA sites in his province for fear of jeopardizing Chinese investment and becoming a target in a conflict over Taiwan. In a press release, Philippine Defense Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. called the four bases very strategic, especially the naval base in Cagayan and the one on Balabac Island. Naval base Camilo Ogias in northern Luzon is located only 500 kilometers, 310 miles, from Kaohsiung, Taiwan's third largest city with a population of 2.7 million. Galvez said Balabac sits on key sea lines of communication in the South China Sea, where Mandela and Beijing have competing territorial claims, including over islands where Beijing has built up military fortifications. The northern sites are not only aimed at a Taiwan contingency, they have utility in times of a South China Sea conflict," said Colin Ko. It's difficult to imagine that a Taiwan Strait conflict will exclude a South China Sea dimension. Ko identified the Bashi Channel in the northern part of the Luzon Strait, closer to Taiwan, as a critical choke point, either for Chinese naval forces to break out of home waters and get into the open Pacific to target U.S. military installations on Guam to the east, or for U.S. warships to get into the South China Sea. He also emphasized how close the Balabac location is to disputed Mischief Reef, an atoll where China has built an artificial island with military facilities. The Balabac site allows for intelligence collection and staging of peacetime air and naval activities in the area, which can put Mischief Reef under closer scrutiny. China's Communist Party claims almost all of the South China Sea as its sovereign territory, as it does Taiwan, an island democracy of 23.5 million people that it has never controlled. The announcement comes as U.S. and Philippine forces prepare to conduct their largest ever joint military drills later this month, when an estimated 17,000 600 troops from the two allies combined for the Balakit and 23 exercises. Washington and Manila are bound by a mutual defense treaty signed in 1951 that remains in force, 
making it the oldest bilateral treaty alliance in the region for the United States. The Philippines, a country of over 100 million people, is strategically located in Southeast Asia, with access to important sea lanes that connect Asia, Australia, and the Middle East. The South China Sea, which lies between the Philippines and China, is a crucial waterway that accounts for over 10% of global fishing and oil reserves. It is also home to disputed territories, such as the Spratly Islands and Scarborough Shoal, which are claimed by multiple countries, including China, Vietnam, and the Philippines. In recent years, the United States has been building some of its largest military bases on Philippine islands, particularly those near the South China Sea. These bases include the naval base Subic Bay, which was once the largest U.S. overseas military installation in the world, and the Clark Air Base, which was heavily damaged during the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991, but has since been restored and expanded. So, why is the U.S. building these military bases in the Philippines? There are several reasons behind this move. Firstly, the U.S. wants to maintain its strategic presence in the region and ensure its access to important sea lanes and trade routes. Secondly, the U.S. is seeking to counter China's growing military and economic influence in the region, particularly in the South China Sea. China has been building artificial islands and expanding its naval and air capabilities in the area, which has raised concerns among neighboring countries and the U.S. Thirdly, the U.S. wants to strengthen its military alliances with its partners in the region, such as the Philippines, and support their defense capabilities against potential threats. The U.S. military presence in the Philippines has sparked controversy and concern among some parties. Some Filipino activists and politicians view the U.S. military bases as a violation of their country's sovereignty. The U.S. military bases in the Philippines remain a crucial component of the U.S. strategic posture in the Asia-Pacific region. The bases enable the U.S. to project its military power and provide support to its allies, while also serving as a deterrent against potential threats. The U.S. military bases in the Philippines near the South China Sea are a significant and controversial topic with important geopolitical implications. The U.S. strategic move to build these bases reflects its efforts to maintain its presence and influence in the region, counter China's growing power, and strengthen its military alliances with its partners. However, the bases also raise concerns about sovereignty, environmental impact, and potential risks to local communities. We hope this video has provided you with a better understanding of this complex issue. Thank you for watching.